All right, so before the break, we talked about the hazards of toxic gases. Now it's time to learn about non-toxic gases that can still rob you of oxygen and asphyxiate you. Wait, you're saying even if they aren't hijacking our red blood cells or shutting our brains down, they can still be deadly? That's right. Simple asphyxiants like nitrogen displace oxygen when they enter the environment. While the gas itself is typically inert and harmless, the more it accumulates in an environment, the less oxygen there is to breathe. This is known as oxygen deficiency. Okay, so it builds up like carbon monoxide? That means you'll also feel sick, right? With gases like nitrogen, you might not even get a chance to feel the symptoms before it's too late, especially in a confined space. Wait, what do you mean? I'll show you. Nitrogen actually makes up most of the air we breathe, 78% of it, to be exact. Only 21% is made up of oxygen. The lowest acceptable oxygen level for a work environment is 19.5%. Beyond that, as oxygen decreases, things get bad. You experience rapid breathing, faster pulse, headache, nausea, ear ringing, and a loss of concentration. I think you get the idea. If the oxygen level continues to drop, you would experience more nausea and a headache. Your hands and feet would turn blue, and you'd feel faint. Beyond that point, you'd pass out, followed by death. I thought you said we wouldn't have any symptoms with oxygen deficiency. I said you probably wouldn't get the chance to experience any symptoms. A gas like nitrogen can build up quickly in an atmosphere and completely displace the oxygen. If this happens, you'll pass out in one or two breaths. This is because your desire to breathe is regulated by the amount of carbon dioxide building up in your blood, not the absence of oxygen. So, in an oxygen-deficient atmosphere, you wouldn't be alerted to any danger. Your body would continue to exhale carbon dioxide and inhale the colorless, odorless nitrogen. And one or two breaths without oxygen is all it takes to knock you out. Wow. Oxygen deficiency can be silent and deadly. Yes. So we need to take all necessary precautions when working around gases that can displace oxygen, like nitrogen, hydrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, or natural gas. It seems like those gases, along with the toxic ones, like carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide, can be found everywhere in the energy industry. Yeah, working with petroleum products can involve some hazardous byproducts. That's true. And in some instances, we also use asphyxiants intentionally to mitigate other risks. For example, nitrogen is used to purge storage tanks and pipelines. It's also used as a coolant in cryogenic operations. And inert gases like argon and helium are used during welding work. If they're allowed to build up, these simple asphyxiants will displace breathable air. Asphyxiants can also be released unintentionally. For example, a compressed gas cylinder in a storage area could leak. And as Stephen mentioned, other hazardous gases are byproducts of operations in the energy industry. Drilling and production operations often release hydrocarbons, which may contain hydrogen sulfide. Refinery processes can release hydrogen sulfide and carbon monoxide. Power plants use inert gases in some systems, as well as produce carbon monoxide during combustion. And we can't forget vehicle exhaust. I learned firsthand yesterday that carbon monoxide exposure is always a potential hazard. Good point. That incident also reminded us that confined spaces are particularly hazardous environments. Natural ventilation is limited in enclosed structures like tanks and vessels, so hazardous gases can build up gradually, like you experienced, or rapidly in some cases. I think it's time for a break. Let's use this time to consider where you've encountered asphyxiant hazards in your work. 
Consider where asphyxiant hazards can be found in your workplace. Share stories of any incidents you think others could learn from. Visit Energy Safety Canada to learn more about what it takes to safely complete work.